Hey everyone, Brian here. Now, I didn't get a chance to show you this. I forgot about showing you this when I showed off my DVD collection, my response to Xanacles, uh I guess I can't really pronounce his name, is a, a username, that is, of the five awesome studs. I never got a chance to show you this one because I forgot about it. But this is another collector's edition. Um, they came out a few years ago, back in 2007, I believe. And it is the um, complete collector's edition of the Wildcats. Now, as I showed you in my comic book collection videos, I have a lot of Wildcat comics, and it's all because of this. Now, as we all know, when the Wildcats came out, uh, as a cartoon, they were part of CBS's Action Zone, along with Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and Skeleton Warriors. Now, as we open this up, we can see that there's a little booklet in here that talks about all the episodes, from episode 1 all the way up to episode 13, which is the end game, which is actually a two-parter, which starts in episode 12. Um, and it's on two discs, as you can see, a two disc set. Disc one has Spartan, and disc two has a uh, Warblade. And the characters on here, let me explain who they are. Okay, Spartan is sort of like a cyborg who was once human. Grift is like a bandit turned hero. Warblade is, well... Now, I think he used to be some kind of an artist or something before he became who he, a hero. Zealot is like an Amazon girl. Maul, Maul is a guy that can, you know, go from like his regular size of maybe six foot seven to over twenty stories tall. And then we have Voodoo, who is the uh, psych, sort of like the psychic of the group, sort of the uh, mind reader. And they also have another character, her name is Void. She's sort of like a, an android, but a, that, allow, that also can teleport them to places. And they're also led by a guy named Jacob Marlowe, who's in charge of Halo headquarters. And, of course, they do have the villains. They have the villains. In fact, the characters, if we look at this booklet again, are described right down here, as you can see. And then, of course, they have the villains like Lord Hailspawn, Dark Hog, Spellbinder, and Artemis. And, you know, the reason Artemis is in here, you might say, well, didn't, didn't you talk, isn't she in another cartoon or comic? Yeah, well, let me explain. You see, Wildcat, you see Wildstorm and Image, along with Jim Lee, decided they needed to do something as well that was similar, I think, to Wonder Woman in many ways. Remember, in Wonder Woman, she is an Amazon by birth. So, but Zealot is more of a, probably the, my birth, but Zealot's more of a Amazon by, I guess, Wright or something. You see, the character of Zealot is actually probably the oldest living wildcat there is. Because she's gone through it all, from the Pirate Seas to the World War Twos and Ones and things like that, all looking for the Daemonites who are the antagonists in this uh, show, and in the comic, led, led by the guy named Lord Hillspot. And the main goal throughout the series is that the Wildcats are battling the Daemonites because the Daemonites want control, and what Lord Hillspot does is he takes these Daemonite, these creatures, and at any time a patch is placed on someone's head, it allows a creature, a Daemonite creature, to go into that person's body. Basically, the little patch if you will, is sort of like a gateway into the person's body, into the pe person's soul. So they basically allows a creature to leap in and take control of that body. Body and the mind. Well, they don't t take control of the mind, they take control of the body. Anyway, Anyway, overall, it's, it, it's a very good show, full of a lot of action. It only lasted for one season, unfortunately. I guess that's how it was planned. 
And now the DVD does have a lot of good bonus features. It has some battle clips after you solve some trivia, sort of like known as Trivia Battle. It has a profile and interview with the creator Jim Lee. It has character profiles, mission photo album, key association profiles, pilot script to be printed off your computer if you put it into your DVD ROM, and of course you got trailers. Uh, overall, this is a very, very good uh, cartoon series. If you haven't gotten it yet, I suggest you go and get it. It'll be worth your while. Alright, I've got enough time. I, do, I like to check my time because, you know, those that haven't been with certain video sites since the, be since the beginning only get, you know, limited 10 minutes to borderline 11 minutes. But the next one I want to talk about is a, is a box set that I got this past Saturday morning at Safe Mart, and I got it for five ninety nine. believe it or not, because Safe Mart, like a lot of these marketplaces, you know, they, at times, they have these huge DVD blowout sales, where DVDs are from, like, three ninety nine to nine ninety nine, and sometimes they're double-packed, and this I got for five ninety nine. oops, didn't want to do it like that, if I can get it out, There we go. It's in this plastic box, it was. And that is season four of the original Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles cartoon. Now, if I'm right, these are most of the episodes that began on uh, CBS. This is when the Turtles went to CBS. Now, I don't know if there's anything different from what you guys have gotten, if you guys got this, but it is a five disc set, as you can see, all the Turtles from Leonardo to Michelangelo, Raphael, and Donatello, and even Master Splinter on the cover of all three, di of all uh, five discs. It's in 2.0 surround sound, audio sound. It's full screen. It's closed caption. It's got bonus features of, you know, talking about Slash, uh, the Shredder, uh, recipe for Cowbunga Cheese Pizza, things like that. As you can see, and for five ninety nine, it's not bad. And I guess I went by the old term that hey, if you wait, you know, for a while, you're going to get it, and at a good, at a better price, and that's what I did. But uh, overall, um, I have to say that it's a, it's great to have this. I mean, I've always wanted to get the box sets. I just never could afford them at the time. But uh, overall, I was happy to get this. This, like I said, I think it's the beginning of the series on airing on CBS. Because you can see a lot of differences in it. Uh, overall, it's 920 minutes. It's closed caption, like I said. And uh, it looks great. Honestly, it does. And that's all I could say for my DVD reviews of and talking about and showing of Wildcats and Turtles. I hope you enjoyed them, and until next time, I'm Brian saying God bless, take care.